well, one, I was thinking about like my relationship with Laura, my wife, and trying to think about the cycles that go into that, right? We have our newest kiddo coming up and we have a lot of things going on, like, you know, work-wise and different initiatives that we're, we're both working on, like side projects. And it was a couple of nights ago that I'm like, I felt like she was, she was getting my like leftovers in any given day. Like, so I wasn't, I wasn't coming with the fullness. Um, and, you know, sometimes that's just like being focused on other things. That's, you know, both of us working hard. Um, but like that moment a couple of nights ago is what's sticking out to me when you were reading that and just saying like, these things are cyclical. These things are seasons and I can shorten seasons sometimes. Um, if I acknowledge it, if I'm the one that just takes the chain off of the lion's neck, and there's some seasons that just have to run its course. I am not the one that holds the key to the chain. Um, so those were the things that were kind of going through my mind and that I need to I need to realize when I'm the one that's doing the imprisonment and I need to let go of when I have no control over it, uh, but nonetheless embrace it. Yeah, that, that sounds right. Uh... Do you not have the key though? How do you not have the key? And I'm curious, I'm interested in your thoughts on going down that that path. Um, I think there's been stuff like work-wise where I'm not the only one that has control. Like there's other parties at play to come to decisions or, you know, so maybe I have part of the key and yet there's something keeping us in a point in time that just we need to let it run its course and then move forward. So maybe, maybe I do always have the key or a portion of it. I don't know. I haven't thought through that fully yet. No, that makes Can sense. Can you help it's, analyze it for me? No, c- constraints are real that there are, yeah. we do have real constraints on us in any given time. That's, that's legit. Yeah. And the, the implication that we do have the key means that we have complete control in a way, which I don't think is true. Like there are always factors in situations and circumstances that are outside of our control. And so this this line, I'm going to read it again, is the lion is not dishonored by the chain, and I have no complaint about what is destined by God. So it's it's not even a, the goal isn't to get rid of the chain, to speak back to your uh, linear thinking, Tony, which I, which I think we we so easily fall back into. It's like the lion's in the chain. Obviously, the lion's goal is to be out of the chain. But what I'm getting from this is the lion is accepting its lionness with or without the chain. Like it, it is accepting the circumstances. It's not dishonored by it. Yeah. There are a couple of things that come to mind. One is from uh, the prophet uh, Khalil Gimran, where he's talking about freedom and says that you're not actually free until even your desire for freedom is a fetter. You know, that keeps you chained, right? That you want to be truly free, you accept everything. 